Hey, Black Cat Studio here. I'm playing Vampire Survivors right now. Just picked up this game a little while ago. I did a stream of it last night. It is incredibly fun and very simple. Just top down, your character auto attacks, kill the enemies. For those who know the game, these are my current power-ups. I'm going to be starting with my new character. I've never played him before, called Poe. He starts with garlic. Very stinky old man. The way garlic works is anything that gets near you takes damage. Very simple. He starts with a little bit less health, and he has increased pickup range. I'm going to pick shields, just because I'm going to be very close to things. And I don't want to get murdered. So he doesn't have a huge amount of health, unfortunately, but at least I can shred the early levels here. Yeah, pick the axe since it's a good single target. Little blue crystals I'm picking up our XP. And I can get power-ups and gold, which is used for permanent upgrades, from these light fixture things. At set times, the enemies change, so we're about to hit the one minute mark, which we'll start seeing, I believe, ghouls and zombies. Yep, right there. And also our first boss. Just a stronger version of the exact same thing. Yeah! Okay. That one didn't drop a treasure chest, but what it did drop was a giant red XP crystal. Back door. Pick things up from farther away. Just gonna hunt all the bats first. Get as much XP as I can from them, because they're the ones I can easily kill. And let my random axes just kill the more beefy enemies. Always upgrade garlic. Ooh, bat horde. Second bat horde. Okay, upgrade garlic, and there should be a third bat horde right about now. As the time changes, we get harder things. Yep, we just hit three minutes. We got another boss to spawn, and now we have skeletons mainly. I gotta pick garlic, since it's the most important thing. Oh, can I one-shot every- okay, I can one-shot the skeletons now. Awesome. That's really good. We'll be getting a skeleton horde soon, and it'll be essential to be able to one-shot the skeletons for that. This is a boss. Don't want to get surrounded. I'm trying to do damage to the boss so I can get the either treasure chest or red XP crystal from him. These things are very beefy, these like slime ghost things. Treasure! I dance the treasure music every time. Base damage to axes. Can I one-shot these? Yes, I can. Okay, I can one-shot everything except for the slime ghost things. So those I don't have to worry about. I can just walk into those as if they're not there because it'll get insta-killed by my garlic. What I'd love is a cross power-up, which just kills everything on screen really good when you have, like, a giant pack of challenging enemies. Oh, <gasps> Bad Horde! Yes, give me XP! And more garlic. You have to be careful with the Bat Hordes that they don't push things into you. We found that out in stream as I got killed a few times because the Bat Hordes would just push much stronger enemies into me. Also, picking movement speed. Movement speed is the best defensive ability in this game because... Your positioning is one of the few things you can control, being that, like, you don't actually attack. It all just automatically fires. There's not enough bracers around to actually pick up health from... Ooh! XP! <laughs> very low on health, and I have to go very close to things to damage them. Makes this kind of dangerous. Can I just walk into these? Yeah, okay, I can walk into those safely. As long as there's nothing stronger in the pile that I'm not noticing, I should be fine to walk around into these. Oh no, the bigger bats are really tanky. Okay, this will stop time. I can reposition myself right now while everything's frozen. Okay, Dove. Dove is really good for just random firing at things. It'll work well with my increased area stats that I have, my permanent upgrades. Okay, so these flowers encircle you and keep you in this area. 
and they do go away after a short time, but, like, if you want to walk through the wall, it's gonna hurt. Oh, I see more brazers to the left. Eh? Eh? Every once in a while, there's things that are actually in the foreground, not the background, and it's very... Oh! It's very easy to walk into them. Also, fuck you, I escaped your plan. Okay, please give me health. <gasps> health! I see health! I see floor chicken! Yay! I have health again! Ooh! Time for me to make X get XP! Yeah! And this is the benefit of garlic. Right here. I don't know how long we have skeleton hordes for, but I'm gonna make the best of it. Just to make sure not to run to any of the stronger enemies that are in the piles. I think I'm picking up enough XP stuff. I'm gonna go for Clover. I don't know what Get Luckier means in this context, but I certainly don't mind the chance to get lucky. Yeah! Oh my gosh, so much stuff. So much XP. So much XP. Never stop. Never stop X- Ooh! Ooh, I just got chicken! Nice! Movement speed, so I can kill more things before the skeleton mode runs out. That's only for a short while. It's funny that this is, like, supposed to be really dangerous to me, and it's just not. It is, in fact, an opportunity. The werewolves are the biggest problem right now. Skeletons I can kill, the ghosts I can easily kill. We also have the mantis right there love to kill him, but I don't know if that's happening. Oh my gosh, that's such a huge pile of crap going on. Uh, Clover. Ooh, ghost hordes. Ah! I walked into a werewolf there. To be very careful they don't push anything into me, because, like, they were just pushing the, uh, mantis around, for example, and that could have been really dangerous. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! Oh my gosh, I survived that somehow. No! Oh no! Oh. I got woofed. Aww. Okay. That was a really fun run, though. We got to level 26. That's really good. Pretty good for, like, trying this character for the first time, gotta say. Okay. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Love to hear what you think about the game because it's a really cool game. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll try to answer them. And yeah, see you in the next video.